I'm Dr. Afra Anzar, final year MD radio diagnosis resident from Yenapoya Medical College. And my co-author is Dr. Ravichandra Ji, professor and head of department of radio diagnosis in Yenapoya Medical College. Today I'll be presenting a rare case of unknown nerve leprosy. So coming to clinical history, we had a 47-year-old male who came with complaints of progressive weakness of right wrist and hand for five months. He also complained of dull aching pain and numbness involving his right elbow, medial elbow, forearm, wrist, and hand. On examination, he had hypostasia along the ulnar distribution of fourth and fifth digit limits and dorsum of hand. Motor weakness of fourth and fifth digits were seen, and a cord like structure was palpable on the medial surface of dorsum of forearm, which was suspicious for ulnar nerve enlargement. The patient was referred to us for uh, ultrasound uh, forearm. Which showed diffuse enlargement of the media of the ulnar nerve along with hypoechogenicity. And there were few uh, lymph nodes seen in the seen in the region of the medial epicondyle with maintained fatty hand and measuring five to seven. And on color doppler, there was no significant increase in vascularity and peripheral vascularity. And this is again showing the ulnar nerve in cross section. So our ultrasound findings are nodular thickening of the right ulnar nerve from the proximal arm to the distal forearm, which appears predominantly hypoechoic with surrounding echogenic fat. Maximum thickness of the nerve was 8.4 mm, and few lymph nodes were also noted in the region of the medial epicondyle with maintained fatty hyalum measuring 7 to 8 mm in short axis. So we are given a diagnosis of ulnar nerve neuritis second with accuracy. So, leprosy, also known as cancer disease, is a chronic infection caused by mycobacterium leprae. Involvement of the skin and peripheral nerves are the symptoms of leprosy. Clinical presentation can be broadly divided into tuberculoid as well as leprematous leprosy. Neuropathy is commonly seen early in the presentation of the disease and first presents as a decrease or loss of sensation. The ulnar, median, radial, common fibular, and tibial nerves are most commonly affected. Infection of the peripheral nerve is a hallmark of leprosy. In leprosy, peripheral nerve involvement ranges from nerve thickening to the preserved fascicular architecture to a disruption of the fascicular architecture and formation of microabscesses, which may coalesce to form a single large abscess that extends beyond the confines of the nerve into the surrounding tissues. As in our case, there was enlargement as well as loss of the fascicular architecture and hyperthogenicity of the nerve. These are 